Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we have to use this criteria, this property, and see which one works for this uh, six special quadrilateral. And I'm going to start with the first one, the parallelogram. Okay. And uh, let's take a look to this parallelogram, and we're going to go on first column that goes with parallelogram and see which one which of these criteria property works and no parallel sides and that is wrong right a, a parallelogram has has uh, two pairs of opposite sides parallel so this is not good okay Two pairs of opposite angles are congruent. That is a good property for a parallelogram. Opposite angles are congruent. Two pairs of opposite sides are congruent. That is another true property of a parallelogram. Consecutive angles are supplementary. That is also okay for a parallelogram. Diagonal bisect the vertex angle. That doesn't work for all parallelogram just for special type of parallelogram exactly one pair of parallel sides that doesn't work also we have two pairs of opposite uh, side that are congruent all angles are equals known diagonal bisect each other that is a good property for a parallelogram and now we can move to the second special quadrilateral which is the rhombus. Rhombus is a special type of a parallelogram, so I'm going to go and check these guys because they work. And let's go and see now which one from the other works or does not work. And the first one, no parallel sides, that doesn't work. We have two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel. Diagonal bisects the vertex angles, that is okay. So let me change the color. That is okay. It's a good property. Exactly one pair of parallel sides. No, that doesn't work. All angles are equals. No, that doesn't work. And we finish with this rhombus. We're going to go to rectangle. Okay. Rectangle is a special type of a parallelogram. So I'm going to check whatever I check for a parallelogram. So these four property. And now I'm going to check the other one left and the first one obviously doesn't work we have two pairs of parallel sides uh, diagonal bisect the vertex angle it doesn't work all the time for a rectangle unless it's a special type of a rectangle which is the square okay exactly one pair of parallel sides no we, like i said we have two pairs and all angles are equals yes that works all angles are 90 degrees okay then now let's go to the next shape which is the square square is a special type of a parallelogram so i'm gonna check these guys and some of you say hey it's a special type of a rectangle rhombus so we're gonna have those property and that is correct so but let's go from the beginning and the first one obviously doesn't work right a square has two pair of parallel sides now diagonal bisect the vertex angles yeah that works is a good property the same like rhombus exactly one pair of parallel sides no that's false all angles are equals that is true because it is also a rectangle all angles are 90 degree now we can move to the next one which is trapezoid a trapezoid is a special type of a quadrilateral and the definition of trapezoid it tells us we have exactly one pair of parallel sides so that works here so obviously the first one is wrong well, let me change in that red color in fact is wrong two pairs of opposite angles are congruent no that is false two pairs of opposite sides are congruent no consecutive angles are supplementary 
uh, not really just the base angle so I will say here no diagonal bisects the vertex angle no all angles are equals no diagonal bisect each other no so kind of a bunch of property really don't work for this uh, trapezoid I would be careful of these consecutive angles because for a trapezoid let me be sure all right this is the shape these two angles are consecutive angles and they are supplementary but you see these two angles uh, let's say a and b are not supplementary so that's the reason i i will go with uh, an x here and let's go to kite kite uh, kite is a special type of uh, quadrilateral and uh, let's see no parallel sides that that is correct we do not have a parallel side for a kite two pairs of opposite angles are congruent no that's not true two pairs of opposite sides are congruent no consecutive angles are supplementary no diagonal bisect the vertex angles is just one of them so i will go here and say no because we have only one pair exactly one pair of parallel sides no diagonal bisect each other mm, I'm, I'm sorry all angles are equals no and diagonal bisect each other no so you notice trapezoid and kite there are a bunch of property that really do not work and i usually suggest you to draw a picture and try to see in the picture if you do not remember the property this is a kite right where we have two these two consecutive sides congruent and these two consecutive sides congruent okay if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on c squared for more help thank you